Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are tackling the trouble area of the pantry. I know that this is one of those spaces that everyone is looking for organization ideas, motivation just to get it done, and that is what I am bringing you today. I have put together my three pantry videos that have over 30,000 views together for you into one long video that is over an hour long. All you need to do is hit play and watch this video while you organize your pantry and it will give you all the motivation you need to tackle your pantry today. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I post my videos regularly on Fridays and I've got a new video coming for you with more decluttering and organizing within my home. And I also will have another pantry video for you coming soon where I go over and help my parents get their pantry back in order and organized. So you won't want to miss that. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and let's go ahead and get into our pantry organization. Are you ready to get your pantry back in order? Does your pantry look like mine? It's just messy and in disarray. Nothing's in the right spot and it just needs a refresh. Then you are in the right spot because we are going to get this tackled today. We're going to pull everything out clean, get everything decluttered and taken out that does not need to have space in the pantry, which there's always lots of things. Hard marshmallows, anyone? <laughs> We're going to get everything put back in. You are going to love this before and after. It is going to be so motivating. So go ahead and tackle your pantry with me today or watch and get some motivation and then stay tuned till the end. If you like grocery hauls, I threw one in at the very end for you and we are going to go ahead and jump right on in. If you're ready to get your pantry in order, hit that like button and let's go. and welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into my pantry. I did a video probably about a year ago. I think I was actually wearing the same sweater because it's one of my favorites and I got a tremendous response from that pantry video and so it's been about a year. I have done a small little refresh on it but it's that time of year where I like to take everything out clean it out, wipe it down, tweak anything that's not working, and then get it all back in. So I'm going to take you guys along with me again. Um, it is, you can see it's, it's, it's messy. It's not a complete disaster. I wouldn't say that, but it's getting to the point where you start just kind of chunking things in. Nothing goes in the right spots. You've got stuff everywhere. It just, it just needs to, a refresh. So what better time than the beginning of the year to get it going? So we just had a grocery haul. I got my groceries and I got most things put away, but I thought I'll restock everything and we'll get the pantry cleaned up, refreshed, looking good. I'm going to take you guys along with me and let's just get our pantries back in order. All right, let's go. And sometimes I don't 
Okay, here's where I do things a little bit different. I have moved my cans, I believe I moved them up. They used to be here. I recently did that, so I am going to wipe. I'm gonna shift them from side and then back, but I'm not gonna pull all of these out to put them all back in. I have recently checked them. I know what's good, I, I know what's in here, it's working. I might reorganize it and tweak it a little bit, but I'm not gonna pull all the cans out to put them right back there. I'm gonna shift them, wipe down the area, and then just leave them because that's just an extra headache. So I've got everything else out because I am gonna switch things around and, and see what's expired and stuff, but I have recently assessed what I'm using, not using, and all of that. So I'm just not gonna do that, that's extra energy. I did pull my water bottles out, which I don't think I did last time. Um, we keep a lot of extra waters and stuff and we cycle through it. Just you know, just a couple of things to have on hand in case of emergencies. We do have some extra stuff like bulk items like water and rice and beans and just some like emergency supplies where a natural disaster or something to happen. We do have some of that. So that's kind of why you see some of these bulk things at the bottom. It's not the prettiest organization, but it works. And this is where we have to put it. So we don't have a small, small pantry, but we don't have a huge one. So just using everything that we can in our space the best that I can. But so that's what I'm going to do next is start cleaning out the pantry, wiping it down, get it nice and fresh. These floors are filthy. I'll show you here in a second. So I'm going to do that and we're going to keep moving. I do the shelves last because I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what's out right now. There's too much. I get overwhelmed, and if I have to stop, I don't need all of this stuff out, too. I'm just going to do it. I always do it last, and I do it shelf by shelf. So, anyways, let's keep going. All right, so this is why you can see it's easy to get overwhelmed. So, who needs extra stuff when I've already got plenty out? This is everything out of my pantry, in the floor on the counters, all around through here. We will address this in a minute, but first we're going to get in here and clean. Top shelf, honestly, is not too bad. It's canned goods, I see some stuff, but it's probably not too bad. I think probably my worst shelf is always this bottom one. It's the most used, most accessed, and just the dirtiest, and then, the floors. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but they are pretty filthy. I even have, I don't know if that's glass or plastic over here. I've had some plastic, hard plastic containers break. I've talked about that and switching over to the LifeWit ones. And then we've had glass break in here this year too. So I'm just going to get in here, clean it up, even wipe down those baseboards, vacuum, mop, and get it all back in. organize my canned goods I always try to group like things together like different types of beans and stuff so if I have like two different types of beans I'll stack one on top of the other and then put the back stock behind it and then I try to rotate my labels where I can see it and that's just what works for me I don't have those um, risers and things that people put their canned goods on I love those I love the look of them I just don't have them I didn't want to buy anything and I wanted to encourage you guys too that if you don't want to buy anything
anything or it's not in the budget, that's okay. You don't need anything to get yourself organized. Just make it work. Shop your house. And maybe if you want to get things like these clear containers that I have, I've collected those slowly over time because they can get expensive. Check places like Sam's Club, member, you know, they have a Members Mark brand or TJ Maxx or eBay even. I have found things on eBay or, you know, Amazon, the Lifewood brand I really like. I'll link a couple of things below in case you are interested, but you do not need that stuff to get yourself organized and your pantry doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's functional. Another tip that I have for you guys with your pantry, if you've got like painted shelves um, and you're wanting to kind of preserve them a little bit, we use, I use the shelf paper that just kind of lays on top and then after it gets really, really grimy, then you can throw it away and put new shelf paper down. But that's another tip I've had. So like, if y'all can see these stains, but that is not on our painted shelf. So that's kind of nice and that's just kind of a thing that we do um, to preserve our shelves is put some little shelf paper down on the bottom and it's nice for the cans too because they stick a little bit to it so they don't slide around and move around a whole lot so that also gives you a little bit of grip and it doesn't ruin the paint on your shelves can't find my broom <laughs> After I gave the bottom of my pantry a good deep clean, I came back through with my Tenco iFloor 2. If you do not have one of these, you are severely missing out. This is like the biggest mom hack I have ever found. I've actually gotten my mom on this. I got her one as well. It vacuums and mops at the same time. Do I need to say any more? It is amazing. If you've got hard floors, it saves me so much time so that I can be playing with my kids and doing other things and not having to vacuum and then come back with a mop. Now, it does not replace a good mop session with your old cedar mop, but it does keep your floors clean in between those weekly, monthly moppings, however often you do it. So I will link it below in case you're interested in checking it out. Out. For me, it has been a game changer.
think Why spend too much time just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time This red basket is a good example of just repurposing different containers and baskets in your house. This had been on my top shelf with some flax seed and some flour or something like that. It wasn't working too well and I had an extra clear container. I thought that would be better for that type of product and then this would be better for snacks down on the bottom shelf. Does it match? No, it sticks out pretty good because it's red, but it works and my kids can easily get snacks out of it. So I chose to move it down to the bottom shelf to repurpose it. So use things around your house to repurpose in any way that functions for you because functionality over pretty, I think wins every time, at least in my book. And that's what I do to help myself be organized is make sure it functions good. If it functions and works, then it will get put back in the right spot every time. other things I like to do is hide my back stock like extra cereal behind the clear containers just to hide visual clutter when you can when it makes sense I do my pasta any extra pasta behind the containers as well another thing I like to do if you've got kiddos and you don't want them in those sweet treats all the time is I try to put them up higher where they can't see them as well and then put things in front of them um, they've got a lot of leftover they get suckers all the time at gymnastics and different things and then we had a lot of um, candy left over from Christmas so I don't want to get rid of all of that I let them have it ever so often but I don't want them reaching for it all the time so I try to put it behind something else so that it's not just in their face all the time and now we are going to go ahead and move on to these door shelves which I've talked about these shelves before but these shelves have been game-changing for adding extra space in pantry like this that need just a little more space I've used this in several different homes I will try to find a link I think I got it from Lowe's but I'm sure I can find something like it on Amazon if you're interested in something like that it just gives you a whole lot more storage when you're kind of limited on what you have
And there you have it, friends. I took my pantry from messy to nice and tidy. We got it all cleaned up and back in order. This helped my mental state so much. I just do not do well when things start getting disorganized and disarray. I feel myself getting a little more short and just agitated and I just I know when I need to get things in order so the beginning of the year is always the best time for me to know that is when I do my big overhaul and pull everything out and then I can refresh things throughout the year but I always kind of just know in my head I'm going to do a big overhaul at the beginning of the year so I hope this helped you guys maybe it gave you some motivation some ideas on how to do things in your pantry if nothing else, I hope I was a friend to help clean alongside you and keep you company while you tackle this. This is a big job, at least for me, and so I kind of have to gear up for it. I am so glad that you joined me today. If you liked this video, will you hit that like button? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join our YouTube family where we just encourage one another, lift each other up, and just help one another any way we can. I hope you will join us and stick around I have my grocery haul here at the very end and you know you are never left without another video to keep you going in case you are in the mode in the zone and you want to keep organizing I will leave you my first pantry video from last year it has over 26,000 views it is super motivating and you can head there after this one and keep on organizing in your pantry and until next Friday friends take care All right, I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul for you guys. We just had our groceries delivered. We use Walmart Plus and love it. Free delivery for Walmart Plus, so we do that a lot. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview here and then just start over here. We were getting low on our <clears throat> vegetables in our freezer, so I got a big blend, this California blend. I love stuff like this. I love frozen vegetables. Sometimes they're just easier, quicker. Sometimes even a little cheaper. So we got all kinds of different um, mixes and blends. Some quick roasters. We always get broccoli, some more broccoli. Also, I've been eating some of these Amy's bowls and things for lunch. So I got a couple of different ones of those. These are wonderful. I love these. My baby loves these. These spinach and egg white frittatas. So I got some more of those. Those are really, really good some pancakes to pop in the microwave. We got some salmon this week and some canned goods. I'm gonna make a soup. And so I got the corn for that. Some chicken, cream of chicken, tomatoes. I'm doing a Mississippi pot roast. It has pepperoncinis in it. This is for our tortilla soup that I'll be showing you guys. Some, tor um, some corn tortillas, regular tortillas we use for snacks, bread sour cream, we've got some cilantro for the tortilla soup, hummus, spinach, some sliced mozzarella, Caesar salad mix, sugar-free creamer, some onions, always get bananas, I'm gonna try this out this week. Um, we've had it in the past, I just like to switch it up ever so often, then we're gonna get into more of the snacky stuff. It has some little Altoids, and then some just different cracker packs, tortilla strips, Got some fruit snacks, some of these Annie's snack bars, trail mix, Honey Nut Cheerios, and Cheeto Puffs. A lot of this stuff is for dinners or snacks and lunches and things for the kids. So that is my quick little grocery haul this week. y'all ready for this pantry overhaul i am getting ready to dive into my pantry and just completely overhaul it it is messy and unorganized and we are going to dive in and get it all tidy and organized and just functioning better for our family i'm so excited to tackle this project today so let's do it together guys we're going to go ahead and jump right in so let's get going Alright 
guys, first things first, everything must come out. So just remember it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm telling you that, but I'm really telling myself it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I'm just diving in, so here we go. doing is I'm removing everything. I'm gonna be real honest with you. We, we have water always on hand and when it goes on sale we grab one. So we've got extra built up. We have built this up over a very long period of time. <laughs> but um, I am not gonna move these out. I'm gonna clean around them. They're gonna stay there. That's where my husband wants to keep them. So I am gonna clean around them but I am not moving all of these. I'm just not. <laughs> So I'm cleaning out everything else. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling everything out. As I pull it out, I am staging it over here and I'm trying to stage it by category. So like pastas, cereal, chips, like baking type stuff, baby teethers and some of the baby stuff. You know, I'm gonna go through this candy and treat. Some of that's from Halloween and I'm throwing it away. I'm gonna weed out anything that's expired or bad. Like this is empty. This was put back in there empty. So that's kind of my process is I pull everything out and then group it in categories as I pull it out. And then once I get to the next step, I will show you guys how I put it all back in. And I'm gonna even pull out what's in these shelves and show you guys kind of how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave everything very similar because this was working. It's just gotten too full and kind of, you know, after you reset something after a while, it just gets, you know, unorganized again. Like I have a lot of teas and like drink mixes, you know, water, energy water stuff, vitamins up at the top and medicines to keep down here, hot chocolates, just everything's kind of gotten in disarray. Side note, these, um, these little racks, I think they came from Lowe's or Home Depot. Some of the best things I've ever done, we've done them in just about every pantry we've ever owned. It gives you so much more storage. Look at all of that extra storage you get. My dad told me about these years ago and now we put them in every pantry. Look at all the extra storage you get on the sides that you would only have just had on these shelves. So. Lots of more storage. You want to do lighter things on these. Sorry, I keep showing you guys with my finger. <laughs> but you want to do lighter stuff on this because you don't want them to pull out of your door. But Jeff definitely gives you a lot more extra storage. So, all right, I'm going to jump back into it. Okay, pretty much everything is out here. I am not gonna move these out. I'm gonna shift them back and forth, but I'm not taking all the cans out, put them back in. If this is where I know I'm gonna put them, I think that's a waste of my time and energy. So I am gonna wipe the cabinet down and then I'm gonna re zhuzh these in an order that works, but I am not pulling all of those out to put them right back in that spot. Everything else might kind of get redone or condensed. So I'll do that. My vitamins are going to go here. I'm going to do this last because I kind of, I know I want every everything pretty much here for the most part. So I'm not going to really do all of this yet because <laughs> as you can see, there is a lot out here. And I'll be real honest, this overwhelms me every time I do a project. 
So I've tried it, like you, you're seeing, I'm grouping things kind of together. This was just massive and I put it there. I'm seeing that I've got extras of th some things like these sugar-free syrups and stuff, lots of beans. I think I might try to move these to this baking side of my cabinet, move some of this. So that'll free up some extra space. And then these were just in a random location. So I'm gonna try to move those. So just kind of showing you guys a big overview. I just don't really wanna pull anything else out. So I think this is a good spot to kind of stop. And then I'm going to clean. I'm gonna go through and wipe these down. You saw me wipe down one shelf already. I'm gonna wipe down so I wiped this one down, but these shelves, see all that, need a good wipe down. I can't even see up there, so that is that. And then I'm gonna come through and vacuum down here and probably run my little steam mop real quick down here. And then I will begin the process of putting everything else back into the pantry. Another thing I was gonna show you guys if you're interested, to kind of preserve these wood shelves, I put down this little liner and then literally just kind of cut them to fit. And I just like this, this kind of helps things stay put. It grips like the cans, you can kind of see it grips them a little bit so they kind of stay put there too. So I put all these liners down, the same color as the shelves. So you may not have even noticed them if I hadn't pointed them out, but that's something I like to do in my pantries and underneath my cabinets. And things like that and it just kind of adds a nice little layer especially if it looked real bad underneath here that would really cover things up so that's what we're doing all right so I'm gonna jump ah oh, if I don't trip and fall over everything I'm gonna jump back in and clean things out and then start the process of putting it in order trying to take you guys along for as much of the process as I can as I'm doing things. So this whole thing here is pretty much kidney beans, these dark red kidney beans. I had an extra box of them, oh, two extra boxes. We got a mistake on our grocery order and they let us keep them. So we've got a bunch of those. So I put those all here because that's pretty consistent. And then I had two pinto beans and another chili bean. Those all make sense together to me, so I put those there. The extra box, and this is gonna be another video <laughs> probably, but I have some overflow here that needs to be reorganized. So this extra box I put over here because it didn't make sense to take up prime real estate in my pantry when I'm trying to make it make sense. So that's what I'm doing here, and then I'm just kind of grouping my cans together. I am pulling out anything that's expired and get rid of that, which most of this is not. We I've done a good job of kind of staying on top of my canned goods this year. That doesn't always happen. And then this is not neat looking by any means, but I'm, I may leave this in here because it kind of works too. Um, and this was also a mishap on our grocery order and they let us keep those too. So we're winning on that. <laughs> anyway, so that's my process of what I'm going through right now is I'm just finding the way to organize this that fits best, group things together, 
and weed out anything that is expired. So that's what I do when organizing my cans. This is the finished can section. Now I know it is not a pretty beautiful home edit, but this works. Everything is grouped together where I can see things. I staggered them, you know, when there's different things behind them, because this is the space I have to work with. I wasn't gonna go and buy a bunch of products. I've had this little organizer, anything I have, and that I'm using today, I've actually had for a while and I, usually get stuff from TJ Maxx or off of Amazon, but I didn't buy anything for this organization. And here, I'm not doing the fancy can organizers. I had one and this was actually used for soda and I just switched it over for um, canned goods a while ago and it's been working. And this is just it. I don't know that it's super pretty, but I can see everything. It's functional for us. And this is what works for us. So I encourage you, Find what works for you with what you have. Don't got, go and buy a bunch of stuff unless you can. I mean, by all means, but sometimes I think you buy stuff and it actually is not as good of a use of your space. It actually makes you waste more st space sometimes depending on what you buy. So I just encourage you if you think, well, I don't have a bunch of fancy products or anything, neither do I. And I am just using this with what I have. I did have some containers and things you'll see here but I've had those for a while and those were gifts so I'm just encouraging you to use what you have tackle it jump in you will feel so much better I'm already feeling better and I just did the can so but I'm not gonna feel too good if we don't get after this so let's jump back in sorting through all of the items in your pantry you may come across some things that maybe don't make sense to be where they are so I encourage you to look at everything you're pulling out and make sure it actually needs to go back into the pantry or could it go somewhere else I had a lot of stuff that I could pull out and move over to this baking cabinet because it made more sense to have them with all of my baking supplies that are in this little cabinet and it wasn't very full so I pulled things out and made this little cabinet over by my stove work better for me and then that freed up some of those baskets that you're seeing and it just gave me a little extra space in my pantry and it just made it work and make a little more sense for functioning and when I'm cooking and doing things so I encourage you to really evaluate everything you're taking out and putting back in make sure it makes sense where you have it placed
here's another tip I have when you're decanting things into um, these plastic containers. If there's specific instructions like for oats, I just tape them on the back of the container so you still have it, but you can get rid of the oats containers or whatever. So if you have anything, just take the instructions if you need them on the back of the container. When you start putting everything back into your pantry, I really encourage you to mess around with the placement of everything. Move it, tweak it. You may put it one place and then move it. Move it around as much as you need to make it make sense and work for you. Think about how you come into the pantry, how you use it, what works best for your family, and just play and tweak it until it works for you. I did that a lot in this video. I always do that when I'm reorganizing a space. And I think it helps you to really see, it, to move it around and try different things out. And then you may set it and live with it for a week or two and decide you need to move it to another place. So I encourage you to just really make the space work for you. It'll make cooking and being in your kitchen and pantry and it'll just make it so much more enjoyable for you if it's functional for you and your family. guys we are getting close to the end and this is where it gets hard and you just have to really push through now because you're like I'm stuck I have a handful of things you'll see kind of behind me I've got a handful of things that I've got to find places for but I'm liking the way it looks now so I'm like well where do I put it so I'm gonna have to finagle some things so I'm gonna turn you around and show you here okay so I have got just some random stuff this is trash this is trash um, Okay, so just some crackers, an empty container, and then the chips. The chips were on the floor and I hated that, but I don't know where to put them. And we've kind of just got randoms. Um, this is a good reason why you want to clean out your pantry periodically. You have more things than you know. Um, so we've got just kind of half full and almost empty bags of chips here and I don't know where to put them. I may condense this and use these. Um, maybe here, you know, like in these, just to keep everything together. Maybe I can get rid of a bunch of these boxes. That's what I'm hoping. But here's progress so far. Top shelf, I put a bunch of stuff that I don't use very often. The things I do use, I center them kind of right here. So I've got my sugars, rice, popcorn, oats, flour, and then some extra protein powders and things that don't get used as much down there. The ones that get used down here, still trying to find a place. I'm gonna put overflow over in that cabinet like I was showing you guys. This is a bunch of overflow. So I'm gonna put some stuff over there. Gotta find places for some of our baking things. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I've got a space here. I'm trying to figure out how to best utilize my stuff. That empty basket that I cleaned out and put over with some baking supplies. Um, I was able to use it for my baby's little teether wafers that he loves, so that helped. Um, these are my kids' little snacks. I try to keep all of this stuff where they can reach it. Overflow of coffee, wafers. There's really no other place for me to store this stuff, so it's still gonna be down here. I hate it, but it is what it is. We have a bunch of like extra, um, like, I um, forget what it's called, just extra food in case we were to have like a natural disaster or something. We've got a little bit of those kind of extra food supply things where, you know, electricity to go out or something and we couldn't cook, then we would have some extra things like that. That's kind of why we keep water the way we do. We won't have to get any water for a while, as you can see. <laughs> um, but that's just kind of, so that stuff is bulk and I don't know where else to put it, so... 
But as you are hearing, Dallas is up, so I am gonna have to stop for a minute, which kills me to have to stop kind of three-fourths of the way through, but I've gotta go get my baby. He is talking and wanting me to come get him. So we will reconvene here shortly. boxes condensed down to this so, let's see now this is going to work. well it works this is kind of that wasted space I was kind of talking about how you know sometimes but maybe I can find ways to utilize that. So I think I actually kind of like this. I put a bunch of medicine dispensers and the little medicine cups in one of these things, it's just something I had. So I group them all together and put them in this. And that seems to keep it all together. Otherwise they're like falling out of the shelves and all over the place. So that's a, a little tip for storing your medicines or your dispensers. boxes I got rid of y'all. I've already thrown a bunch out in the trash. I took my trash bag out. It was full, but it was not, not from actually my pantry though. Guys, I, I didn't have to throw as much stuff away as I thought I would that was expired or bad or stale. Um, so here it is. This is it. I cannot tell you guys how good this feels to get a project checked off my list that was driving me nuts, that now is just tidy and in order. It's not perfect, like I said, it does not look like a home edit pantry, but for me, every day, stay at home mama, this works. I hope this encourages you guys. Use what you have. I didn't buy a single thing 
Um, I had everything. I just reused it, maybe repurposed it. Like this little basket, I got rid of some stuff and put, you know, this works now because I've got a baby that's eating solids. So that helped contain his stuff. Um, I repurposed these, they weren't working for me. So I used them now for all of my little drink mixes and teas and just made things make sense and have an order. So I encourage you guys today, get it in your mind, something you want to do, a, a problem area that's bothering you and tackle it. And it's never ending. I will tell you, I moved some things over here. And so this will be one of my next videos is organizing these drawers down here, over here. All of this could be utilized so much better for our family. So that's gonna be a next video, but here it is guys. This feels so good. I encourage you tackle a project today or set a time to do it. That's what I did. I knew today was the day when my kids went back to school. This was gonna be the day that I would tackle the pantry and here it is. It feels so good. So, so good. I had been wanting to do this for months. I shouldn't have waited. So this is your nudge, guys. Get after something, tackle it today, or put it on your schedule to tackle it here very soon. to be it for today's video guys thank you so much for joining me today and watching me as I organize my pantry I hope I gave you some motivation and inspiration to tackle a project in your house maybe it's your pantry maybe it's something else I just hope I gave you some inspiration today I want to be a positive influence and a positive light in your life that's why i make these videos is to inspire and bring joy and encourage you whether you are a mother or a father or anybody in life we all need encouragement we all need motivation so that is why i do this guys i hope you enjoyed this video today if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you in my youtube community and just be a part of us uplifting and encouraging one another. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single video. I've got lots of good declutter and motivation for organizing coming up in this new year. Stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, take care. Are you ready for some pantry organization inspiration? If you are, then you are in the right place. My name is Anna, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to those of you who are returning subscribers. I am so glad you are here. This is my second video on pantry organization. Y'all loved my first one. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box below. But today we are jumping into my pantry and we are just refreshing it. It just has gotten a little out of hand. This is by no means a disaster, but I am just refreshing the pantry and we are jumping right in by doing the step number one removing everything that you can so I will be removing almost everything from my pantry there will be three areas that you notice I do not remove from four areas actually the top shelf it's working for me and I'm not gonna move it it's pretty much gonna stay the same my cans I'm not taking them out but I am gonna move them up and then all of the stuff in the bottom of my pantry if you saw about two videos ago 
My husband dropped a big glass jar of salsa. I had to pull everything out of the bottom of my pantry and completely clean, deep clean that area. So I am not pulling all of that stuff out again because it recently has been deep cleaned. And then the stuff in the sides of my pantry doors, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna revamp it a little bit, give it a little zhuzhing, but I'm gonna leave everything in it and not pull everything out. So let's go ahead and jump right in with getting everything that's coming out out of my pantry I just want to take a second to remind you that you do not have to have these containers to have a nice functional pantry. I have collected these over time or been gifted these so it has taken me a while to accumulate the ones that I have and I just repurpose them for different foods and different things. I would encourage you if you do want them, look on eBay, look on, you know, look at TJ Maxx and some of these places to find them for cheaper than what they are like at the container store. It's crazy the prices on some of these things. So find cheaper alternatives, go around your house and repurpose things. That's what I do. You'll see a red basket and some white baskets and things like that. I've used those in all different spaces of my house. I repurpose them and move them around. When I declutter, I find things I can use in another space. So use what you have. Don't feel like you have to go buy a single thing to organize your pantry. Be resourceful and use what you have and make it function for you and don't feel like you have to go get things. Now, if you want to go buy these things, by all means have at it, but I just wanted to encourage you if you couldn't or didn't want to do that, you do not have to do that. This is my overflow cabinet. I have a lot of extra stuff that maybe didn't fit into my pantry all at one time. So I do overflow over on this side to kind of keep a few extras on hand. And I was just pulling any extras I needed to put into the pantry to restock it and then moving them over. And then you're seeing me here. I decided my cans, I use them, but not as much as I use the stuff that was on that higher shelf. And I am short, so I decided let's move the cans up one and bring the stuff that I use more down lower. So that is what I'm doing here, and that's why I really didn't pull all of my cans out onto my bar to pull them back into the uh, back into the pantry. This just made more sense for me as I was reorganizing. A quick little tip, if you're decanting products into these canisters and you want to get rid of the boxes, take the instructions on the back of the box so you have it when you need it.
got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. place in the process that I try to weed out anything that doesn't belong in the pantry or if there's some things that were expired. I honestly did not have any major expired foods or anything like that. I did get rid of some candy canes and things like that that were old but besides that I didn't have a lot that I had to get rid of because I do try to periodically refresh and rearrange this pantry to kind of stay on top of it but again you want to get rid of anything that doesn't need to go back in maybe it needs to go in another location or if it's bad it needs to be thrown out and then I continued on to rearranging and making things work in my pantry in these shelves to work and function better sometimes it's just tidying up and replacing things where they need to go
you are still with me, will you hit the thumbs up emoji and put it in the comments below? Here is the best part of all videos, the wonderful before shot, reminding you of the mess of what the pantry started with and then revealing the wonderful after the satisfying picture of what it has become. I love a good before and after shot. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching my video. It means so much. If you enjoyed this video, will you like it and share it with a friend? Maybe you have a friend who needs some extra motivation. I would love it if you would share it with somebody that helps me out and there is no better compliment to me than to share my videos with someone else to help inspire or motivate them. Thank you again for watching, and if you need more pantry motivation, I have my other pantry video linked in the comments below, so go check that out as well if you want to keep going and get more motivation. And until next time, friends, take care.